Investments in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing. Friends, in this video, I'm going to talk about the topic keeping portfolio risks in check. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about how a mutual fund investor can keep his portfolio risk in check. A lot of investors have taken more risks in their portfolio in the recent years. Why? Because they believed that the reward would be better if they took higher risk. To be fair, that assumption is proved right as of today. But going forward, should that investor travel with the same level of risk which is higher than normal? That's the question which you need to ask yourself right now. My assessment is that there are times in every market cycle when the investor should tone down his risk, moderate the risks he is taking. Similarly, there are times when he should up the risk that he is taking. Both the toning down and increasing of risks must happen within his overall risk appetite. It should suit the individual investor's risk profile. So now we are going to talk about toning down the risk because the trade of upping the risk has worked out better than anyone would have anticipated and predicted. I know a lot of people take the last two months returns and think that this will continue for a very, very long time to come. But go one more month back and see what the sentiment was in the month of March. There was a sense of gloom. From that to today, the economic circumstances have not changed dramatically. The earnings is not improving so much to justify this big move. But what has changed is liquidity flows. So more people are chasing the same set of stocks and they are willing to pay more because there is very, very high FOMO, fear of missing out, running in the market. So you should not be a victim of that fear of missing out. Instead, you turn the market's fear of missing out into an advantage for yourself by bringing down the risk in your portfolio. How can this be done? First, you should stop your SI pace in the very risky parts of the market and switch to a safer product. So if you are in micro cap or small cap, I believe that you should stop your SIP and move to a safer part of the market. Second, if you already built a portfolio of such stocks in mutual funds, which is small and micro cap, you should set up some mechanism to withdraw your profits at least. So you should be ready to take out some money and keep it ready so that you will be able to invest when the market falls with using the same money. I know a lot of people say don't disturb your investments. But under circumstances like this, when valuations are running way ahead of fundamentals, you should be very, very careful because the fundamentals as they will get revealed with this quarter's result may not be what the market thinks they are. They could be weaker than the market assesses the reality. And when that reality is going to hit the market, the market may actually change its opinion very quickly. That risk is something that the individual investor must address now. You can't do it after that eventual change in perception happens in the market because you will start to lose whatever you gain now. So capturing the gains in your portfolio should be your current mission. It should be your priority and you should find a way of taking out money from expensive parts of your portfolio where valuations are running way ahead of fundamentals. I think that the market gives us these opportunities only for us to use them. So let us see where we need to use them and judiciously use them. Wherever you are invested for the very, very long term, that part should not be overvalued. So I think that the large cap is relatively okay. But I wouldn't say the same of small and micro caps. Mid caps also are presenting a very significant risk. So wherever the valuations are high, you must move to safety and that responsibility is entirely yours. Thank you for watching this video.